So now we're set up on Hootsuite and we can really get into using it. And one of the most useful aspects of Hootsuite is the ability to schedule posts ahead of time, avoiding any of that dead air that we talked about earlier. Before you start scheduling, you do need to plan ahead and think about what are you going to be saying on these different platforms. You can't just hop in there and you know, schedule a month worth, worth of posts without a little bit of planning. That can be as simple as just creating a Word doc and you know, copying in quotes or links or collecting articles, whatever it may be, but it does require a little bit of advanced planning. So once you have that month worth of content, or maybe it's a week, maybe it's even three days worth of content, then we're ready to go ahead and hop into that scheduling section and really get moving with this and start putting in some posts. So now we're ready to go ahead and post and schedule, and we will start by choosing where we want to post to. So you come up to this bar here on the top, and it will have all of your social media profiles that you've loaded in, and you can choose any or all of them. So I will go ahead and choose to post to my Twitter and to my personal Facebook. And so now you'll see that these two avatars are up here in this bar. This bar is telling you exactly where the tweet or post that you're about to write is going to go. So I've chosen where this message is going to post to. Now I come over here where it says compose message and click. Now I can go ahead and type whatever I would like. So I'm going to go ahead and create a message to send out right now. And I can come on down here and click send now. So now you've just sent out a message very easily to two different social media sites all in just one click of a button. One important thing to think about though as you are scheduling posts to multiple networks is that when you post to Twitter, the way that you post and what you write and the amount of text is going to be different than when you post to Facebook or to LinkedIn. So although it is really easy to go ahead and post to any and all of those, you do still want to keep in mind what makes sense for each of the particular networks. Now we can move into actually scheduling tweets. So this is the fun part and this is what's really going to help you with your business and managing social media. So we'll come on over here. We'll go ahead and choose, I'll choose my business Twitter. I'll choose my LinkedIn and I'll choose my company LinkedIn page. And I can go ahead and come over here and type up a message. So now I'm typing up a message that I want to include a link in. Having a great time here in Santa Monica today. Check out the videos soon. And I want to include a link to Docstock's site. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to uh, Docstock's website. I'm going to grab the link that I want. I'm going to choose the one that goes to these online business courses. Come back into Hootsuite. And instead of just typing the link in here where I'm typing the message, I'll go here to add a link, pop it in there, hit shrink, and it's going to give me a link that's half the size, which is really great with Twitter because, as you most likely know, you can only have 140 characters. And one nice thing on here is this actually tells you how many characters you have left for a Twitter post. So we've got this typed. We can come over here now to schedule it. And I'll choose to send it out at 3.45 this afternoon. You can choose to receive an email after you send it, and I will go ahead and schedule. So that's how you schedule, and you can schedule as many uh, messages as you would like. And some other things that we have in here are this paperclip, which allows you to attach an image or a file. You also have this, which can add your location. And another thing you can do is create a message and save it as a draft. So I'm going to save this as a draft. And then, especially if you have a team, you can share your draft. Say you have a particular PR issue going on and you keep getting the same messages through social media and you have a specific response that you want to have your employees use when they're dealing with it. You can create a draft and then share it with the team members so that they're sending this pre-approved text that you've already created. So I saved it as a draft now. We have it multiple times. 
because each time you send one of these drafts, it actually will disappear from the drafts folder. So that is another option. So we've seen how to post one. So now let's plan to do a week's worth of posts. Monday is post. Now, when I'm scheduling, say for Monday, I might want to tweet three different times, but I might only want to post to Facebook once. So this first one, I will choose Facebook and Twitter and go ahead and maybe make it earlier in the day. Choose AM for Monday and schedule. Now I'm going to do my second message for Monday. And in this case, I'm doing a Monday tweet only. So I could include hashtags in here, which is something I might not want to do if I'm also posting to Facebook and LinkedIn at the same time. So whatever hashtags you want to stick in there, and I'll choose my Twitter account, and I'll schedule it for Monday, and I'll have it go out, say, 11.40 a.m. And schedule. And then maybe I want to schedule something else for later that evening, maybe a cool article about an elephant fighting off hyenas. So we'll put this in here. Shrink that down. Check out this crazy video of elephants. Okay, and I'll post it to my personal Facebook page and my Twitter. Now you can see a little thumbnail. Go ahead and schedule it. I'll schedule this for the evening. Make it on Monday, schedule. Okay, so now we've got a few posts for Monday. We do the same thing for Tuesday. Probably only post once to my Facebook page, maybe three times to my Twitter page, and so on all through the rest of the week. So now is when that editorial calendar is really going to come into play. The planning that you've done ahead of time is going to make this really easy. So you're just copying and pasting whatever content you've come up with, whatever photos, you're not having to think about what you're posting. It's just all going in, basically, uh, you know, just manual entry, super easy, and have it done here quickly. So from here now, we've already created a few messages. Say I'm thinking about it and I decide I want to change one of them or maybe I want to delete one. That's where we come over to this left-hand menu and go to Publisher. And now I can see all of my scheduled messages. And I have one today, I have a few for next week. Let's say that I want to edit one of these, the 11.40 a.m. on Monday, I want to change. So you'd come down here, over to the right, and you can just hover over the pencil, click edit, and now it's gonna bring it back up for you. You can add more social networks, you can change the message, you can change when it's going out, whatever you want. Up here, schedule in bulk, that can make sense if you're really using this a lot, but that's actually a pro feature. Um, so if that's something that you're starting to find it's too time consuming even to do it this way, you can upgrade to pro and get the bulk scheduler. These other options require approval. That has to do with using team members. So if you're assigning team members uh, particular jobs or accounts that you want to approve, this is where you would come to tweets or posts that have been scheduled that need you to approve them before they go out. This is good for corporations that are really trying to keep strict control. And then past scheduled, this is great just to see the history of what you've been doing. This is what that screen would look like. So now that we've gone through scheduling, while it seems a little complicated at first, you can see once you get in the hang of it, it's pretty easy. And now for the next month, you don't even have to worry about posting on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or any of these. This is the real benefit and the real time saver that you're gonna have with Hootsuite.